We're back with March of the Machine. All right, let's rip into another one of these uh, collector booster boxes. Also, make sure uh, you stick around. I will tell you how you can enter to win this Omnath Locus of All Extended Art Buy a Box promo foil, as well as the current giveaway that we're going to do towards the end of this video. So let's get into this box. <laughs> All right, so I'm excited. Let's just rip right in. We don't care about the box condition because we just throw these away anyway. So let's cut right open, make it easier on ourselves. And uh, yeah, for those of you that are just seeing March the Machine collector booster boxes being opened for the first time, well, you're in for a treat. And if not, <clears throat> as I'm sure most of you have seen plenty of other videos online, then enjoy this box opening and let's see if we can hit some serialized foils. So we skip past all the commons and uncommons on this channel, as we always do, unless there's something super spicy, which a lot of times there isn't. Uh, we'll just go straight to the hits, because that's what we're about here. <clears throat> Rowan's Talent, Fairy Mastermind on the Extended Art slot, Herald of Hoofbeats in the uh, slot for Commander, a Quindy Pride of Fimerif for a foil. There is our Halo foiling. Excuse me, i got to clear my throat. <clears> throat> I will try not to do that so much, guys. I was sick over the last couple days. Shauna Sisse's Legacy. Gorgeous Halo foiling. This is an uncommon. It's got a little bit of texture to it. These cards just look so pretty. Big fan of the Halo foiling art for sure in this set. There's an Ozolith, the Shattered Spire. And then, of course, we have our Multiverse uh, Legends slot here in the back. Let's find out. We are Atraxa, Praetor's Voice. Forgot you could open this in this slot. I, this is the etched foil, and I believe it is 10% of the time you have the chances of opening an etched foil. If I am not mistaken, this is probably one of the more expensive cards. Now, she does have a showcase frame in the Streets of Nucopena art that you could open, but I would imagine that this one is up there in price as well for the etched foil. <clears throat> in fact, we will take a look at that real quick. Uh, that is very nice. I like the etched foiling on this. It's done very well. I'm going to look up, since I have a computer in front of me, we're going to look very quickly just to see what she is going for in etched foil. So, Atraxa, uh, Praetor's Voice. <coughs> Here we go. Foil etched. So, she is $67. Uh, as I thought... One of the more expensive ones that you can open in this set. We're going to go ahead and sleeve her up since she pays for almost, uh, a th well, yeah, I'd say about a third of the box. <clears throat> very nice in that attracts a Very, very nice hit. Starting off pretty strong. We'll see if we can still hit some awesome cards and finish with a bang in this set. Try to go through this box opening as quickly as possible uh, while showcasing a lot of the cool cards that we open. <clears throat> planes, very nice art on that borderless planes. Polucranos Reborn, very nice. Flips into a, a Polucranos Engine of Ruin, very cool. A Hidetsugu and Kiari. <clears throat> Vivian's Talent, Shauna, Sisei's Legacy. Okay, this time not, as you can see the difference there, the Halo Foiling. <clears throat> Versus the traditional pack foiling. There, oh, wow, Shauna Sisse's Legacy. It just wants to give us more of these left and right. Doom Scars Warrior. So you get your extended art foil, rare or mythic from the set. And, or from the, um, I guess, commander slot. You could have that there too. This is a rare. We're going to be Lathiel the Bounteous Dawn. So uh, this came from the same case. We're already seeing some duplication here. <clears throat> which I guess is just bound to happen. Just shows the uh, random nature of boxes being opened these days, which is nice to have the true randomness. I don't know if you can map boxes like you used to be able to, <clears throat> or if that is a thing of the past nowadays. If you guys know anything about people mapping boxes in today's time, let me know. I'm very curious if people are able to determine uh, box mapping. Um, I know you can kind of determine what might be in the box based on like the, the print sheet and where you know things... If you look at an uncut sheet, but <clears throat> so many slots in this particular, from the Multiverse Legends to the other slots that they have. Very dark art there on that swamp. C-double. 
tribute to the world tree, path of the, I almost said Ghostbuster, of the Ghost Hunter, <clears throat> Renata called to the hunt, another Renata called to the hunt in etched foil, very nice to see that in etched foil, Kogla and Yadaro in the foil borderless, this isn't even the Multiverse Legends slot, this is just really cool art, I guess kind of like the Ikoria art that they did. <clears throat> Love that. That is just gorgeous. And then, ooh, Shieldred of the Whispering One. <clears throat> this is the Multiverse Legend slot, the original Shieldred that we had. This is the Oil Slick art from if uh, they were to do the art for Shieldred in the uh, Phyrexia All-V-1. So they did do it here in the Multiverse Legends slot. They gave us a treatment for each of the Phyrexian Praetors. Very nice. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I had another call come through on the other line, but we went ahead and muted that so we can continue opening uh, packs here. Let's see if I can get the pack open. Sometimes these are difficult. There we go. There's a Teferi's a Talent emblem. <clears throat> Interesting. All right. Guys, I do apologize if you're listening to this video and I have to clear my throat. Like I said, I was sick and <clears throat> I'm trying to get it all out. Um, it's unfortunate, I know. Uh, Mountain. Tribute to the World Tree. Sea Double. A Exanguinator Calvary. Rona, Shieldred's Faithful. Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. Elspeth's Talent in uh, Foil Extended Art. Which, uh, this is the first time that we're seeing Enchant Planeswalkers. <clears throat> Gives your Enchanted Planeswalker a plus one to create three one wide Soldier Critikins, or uh, and then whenever you activate ability of an Enchanted Planeswalker, creatures you you control get plus two, plus two, and gain Vigilance until end of turn. Very cool to see that uh, <clears throat> Enchantment Planeswalker cards. Anyway, all right. Ooh, looks like we've got a Halo foiling from what I can see down here. We have a Lutri, the Spell Chaser, in Halo Foil. Very gorgeous art indeed. I just cannot get enough of these Halo Foils. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve it because I know all the Halo Foils have a little bit of value to them. Some of them a significant value. Although I don't think Lutri is one of those. <clears throat> and you can get a serialized version of a lot of these cards. So, um... We have yet to open one of these on the or one of those on the channel. They are less than one percent of boosters, so the odds are very very low for a serialized card. But it is not impossible, obviously, because they exist. Drana and Linvala, interdisciplinary mascot. What a name for a card. Daxos, blessed by the sun. Jury, master of a review in etched foil. A Voldaren, a thrill seeker. And a Lutri the Spell Chaser, this time not in that Halo foiling. So that's the normal foil there. We're actually going through this box pretty quick. This is our sixth pack, so we're halfway through the box with this opening. <clears throat> and of course, stick to, stay tuned, because we'll talk about the giveaways and how you can win that awesome Omnath Locus of All, which is sitting right here. That is the bio box promo for the set. Okay, so... Moving right along to an invasion of Gobak Gobak Khan, which flips into Light Shield Array enchantment. All right, a Hoarding Broodlord, <clears throat> Bitterhorn Anissa's Animus. All right, so a living weapon there. Zada Hedron Grinder, uh, the Halo Foil Fijar Ferja Ferja Judge of Valor. Very nice with that Kalbheim showcase art that they did for like that very heavy metal looking art and i guess the halo foiling on each of these can be different uh pattern on each one so it depends on where your swirls kind of go through the art of the card uh might highlight certain sections on other cards better um this one has very dark art as you can see there's the camera picking up the actual art still nonetheless very gorgeous on the halo foiling Monastery Mentor, that's a mythic that we want to see open in the extended art slot. Very nice. Nice to see this reprint as well. Also, putting Monastery Mentor into Pioneer for the first time since this was originally created in or printed in Cons of Tarkir. And I do not believe Cons of Tarkir was, uh, was it legal in that? I don't think it was. No, 
So <clears throat> putting Monastery Mentor into Pioneer. Very nice. Okay, now we've got our Multiverse Legend slot. We are looking at Obosh the Prey Piercer. All right. So we will sleeve Monastery uh, Mentor. I don't know what it's going for. I do like the art on it. Um, I would imagine it's got some value to it, though. Let me uh, look it up. Monastery Mentor. Extended art. <clears throat> we are uh, looking at... And it's going to... So there's like 12 bucks. Very, it's going to depend pretty heavily upon how it plays out in Pioneer. And uh, like I said, I think it's printed into the Pioneer for the first time in this set, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that it is. So, uh, like I said, it's going to depend upon how it plays out. Maybe it's not. Maybe it was on Pioneer before. Now I can't even remember, guys. If I'm wrong, let me know. I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments below. Either way, it's a great reprint. And if it starts seeing play, I'm sure we'll gain value over time. <clears throat> all right archpriest of shadows sword of once and future so this is a card that you want to open and see in this slot this is the last and final sword that we were missing from all of the sword block like sword of light and shadows sword of fire and ice sort of you know feast and famine here is sword of once and future this is the blue black one so protection from blue protection from black of course plus two plus two is typical Equip two, because they always cost three, and equip to two. Uh, when an equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, surveil two. Uh, so you to look at the top two cards of the library, and then you may choose any number and put them into your graveyard, and the rest go on top. Um, <clears throat> then you may cast an instant or sorcery spell with mana value two or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So if you put something in your graveyard from the top that has mana value two or less, you get to cast it. If it would be put into a graveyard uh, from anywhere, or I guess when you cast it, ex exile instead. So, very nice to see the final sword printed, and a good card to open for sure. Path of the Enigma. <clears throat> Yargle, Glutton of Urborg. Igna, Rune Eyes. <clears throat> Baral and Karizev in that gorgeous foil uh, showcase frame that they used for the um, Kaladesh Inventions, the original Masterpiece series. And a Tesa Karlov in normal foil. Very nice indeed as well. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Tesa. In fact, that was a card that I did not have in foil, so I will probably use her and replace the non-foil version in a commander deck that I run. Very nice to have all these multiverse legends in each pack. I really like Wizards reprinting cards through this means, and I do like the serialized lottery tickets that are out there to be found so i do think that's really cool uh very nice planes art my favorite of the full art lands minus there's a swamp out there of this set that does well as well or that's very good art as well <clears throat> i'm very curious to see if we find out who opens the one of one ring there there's fairy mastermind and what am i talking about if you haven't seen it go look it up it is the new set coming out for lord of the rings um and we have a one of one it is only one in the world in elven language it is going to be a um the one ring so it is it is definitely going to be a pretty penny whoever opens that is probably going to be life-changing money ancient imperiosaur unless you're already like really wealthy then maybe not so life-changing wand of the world soul <clears throat> finn the fang bear there's a rada coalition warlord in etched foil rampaging raptor seeing some duplication here from the last box and a gore claw terra of calcisma so, uh, a lot of duplication from the last box we opened. These are both from the same case, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. There's some differences, but, um, I think a lot of the, well, Monastery Mentor we didn't open in the last one. Ah, uh, we'll see. Uh, there are some defi defi definite duplication. There is some definite duplication. I cannot speak straight. We have uh, Rampaging Rapper, Ozolith, the Shattered Spire. We opened those in the last box as well, uh, for Foil Extended Arts. <clears throat> A couple of the Multiverse and Legends are duplicates like Shieldred. Um, but yeah. All right. Uh, missed an Uncommon there. Did I? Did I not? I don't know what I did. We did. There it is. Uncommon. And an Uncommon Battle. Okay. All right. So Galta and Maverin. Very good card. A uh, little kind of powerful and broken in Commander, if you ask me. Uh, Rona. Herald, uh, Herald of Invasion. Gimbal, Gremlin Prodigy from the Commander deck series. <clears throat> Agar the Freezing Flame. 
Igna Rune Eyes in Halo Foiling. Very gorgeous. Love the way that swirls. Ayara, Widow of the Realm. So some duplication again. And a Gyruda a Doom of Depths in Halo Foil for that uh, Multiverse Legend slot. Boy, that is a menacing looking Demon Kraken. Love the art on that Gyruda there. I think that is uh, miles above the art that they gave us in the original set, which was uh, Ikoria for this card. So trying to see if there was a little bit of gunk almost that looked like it came out of the pack. Okay, I got it now. <clears throat> very nice very nice indeed okay let's take a look uh da, 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 da. we are down to the last three packs and then we'll talk about the giveaway stuff guys <clears throat> all right uncommons island and oh cool invasion of alara boy that's a pretty looking art there all together that is uh wow I really like that. What does this flip into? This flips into Awaken the Maelstrom. Very cool. Awaken the Maelstrom is all colors. It's sorcery. Target, I guess you just get to cast it for free. Target player draws two cards. You may put an artifact card from your hand on the battlefield. Create a token that's a copy of a permanent you control. Distribute three plus one plus one counters. Among one, two, or three creatures you control, destroy target permanent and opponent controls. My goodness, that's a mouthful. Woo! That is a heck of a um, siege, a battle. <clears throat> Wow, there's a Brawl and Carry Zev in the non-foil form, a Conjurer's Mantle, Tetsuo, Tetsuko Umezawa Fugitive, Dina Soul Steeper in Etched, Chrome Host Seed Shark, Phyrexian Shark there. Uh, what does this do? Three mana for a 2-4 flying whenever you cast a non-creature spell, incubate X where X is at spell's menu value. Okay, so you get a... a um, Artifact token with X plus one plus one counters, and then you can pay two to turn it into a creature. Very cool. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get something cool. What's the frame here? That's a mythic. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of duplication. <clears throat> so, Yarak the Desecrated, we also opened in the other box, along with the... Um, actually, I think all the Multiverse Legends cards are the same. Uh, let's see... Yeah, we opened, uh, we didn't open Lutri, but we got Shieldred, we got, uh, we didn't get Atraxa, uh, we didn't get Garuda, okay, I mean, I guess, but Yarok and Shieldred being the two mythics makes me wonder if they're close to each other on the uncut sheet when they get distributed in, but it could all be random, so just luck of the draw, <clears throat> just something to note if you notice duplication in some of your boxes from the same case. Um, very curious if any of you out there have hit that for those of you who have already opened this set. Either way, we are having fun. Ooh, wow, what a look at that line. That is damage down the center of the card. Luckily, that is just on a basic land. That mountain just got, like, somebody wanted to shred right through the card, but didn't quite get it cut all the way. Almost looks like the, uh, printing press got this. I don't know, that's crazy. <coughs> Jeru and Hazaret. All right. Arch Priest of uh, the Shadows. An Emergent Woodworm. Fiara, or Ferja, Judge of Valor. That's the uh, normal foil. A Finn the Fang Bearer. An Etched Foil. Omnath, Locus of All, in the Showcase Foil. So here's the Biobox Foil promo. And here is the Showcase Frame Foil. Honestly, I am a much bigger fan of the art on the Omnath Locus of All from the Biobox promo. It looks a lot better. A, a lot, he looks more evil, more menacing, more dangerous. Uh, this art's not bad, but I'm just not a fan of it. I prefer the Biobox promo. All right, let's see what we've got here. It is a Fire Song and Sun Speaker, so <clears throat> more duplication. Or at least we've seen uh, that's the second one we've opened. Last pack of the box, guys. And then we will talk about the giveaway, and uh, yeah, that's what I've got for you this time around. Uh, we still have a chance of opening a, um, <clears throat> we'll see if we can get some last pack magic. There's that gorgeous uh, swamp art I was talking about. Baral and Kerry Zev, uh, serialized card is what I'm looking at. Zergo and Ojutai in a showcase frame. That's a really cool art. I like that. Hmm. Very cool. Uh, Uncivil Unrest. 
Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty. Rona, Shieldred's Faithful. Gimbal, Gremlin Prodigy. This is the Commander Deck Series card in Extended Art Foil. So nice to know that you can get these in Extended Art Foil in this slot. Here we go, guys. This is where you can get a uh, serialized card if it's going to happen. We are looking at a rare. It is not a Halo Foil. It is a Hirobi Death's Whale in the normal pack foiling. So not ending on a crazy bang, but overall, I would say a good box. There is the Foil Monk token for the um, Monastery Mentor, which is very nice to have that. I'm sure these will be popular tokens to collect. And I will go ahead and sleeve Gimbal here. All right, let's talk about... I'll sleeve him in a minute. Let's talk about the uh, giveaways. <clears throat> so, first of all, we're going to give this one away on this video. Um, let's see. What do I want you guys to do? Well, first of all, let's talk about the main giveaway. The main giveaway, link in the description below, is a commander deck from March the Machine of your choice. So there's five different decks. You get to choose one, whichever one you want. If you win, we'll announce you in a video, and then you'll make your choice, and we'll... We'll ship you the commander deck in the mail. Simple as that. You uh, have multiple ways to enter in that. So uh, just go check that out. And then for this Omnath Locus of Mana, as well as uh, a random surprise, which I'll always add a random surprise to your package, we will ship you this buy box promo. All you have to do, uh, you don't have to hit that thumbs up button, but we appreciate it if you do. And uh, you don't have to subscribe. But hey, if you are, please do. It helps us. Uh, either way... All you have to do is leave me a comment below in this video and let me know if you would like to see more live streams. Do you want packs for purpose? Do you want me uh, or me and Sean? So I'm Jason. And then, of course, we have Sean or Nickel Bolas. If you guys have seen some of our previous live streams, his alter ego. Do you want to see more live streams? We will do them. Are you interested in rip and ships? We will do those. Uh, and what entices you to be a part of those? I mean, is it single booster packs? full booster boxes. We'll, we'll, we'll do anything. I, I'm open to taking suggestions. So all you have to do is give me your suggestion down below. Let me know if you want to see more live streams. We will pick a winner and we will mail you this Omnath Locus of All, as well as some awesome uh, other random surprise in the mail. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us today here at Packs for Purposes. Jason, Love Peaks and Chicken Grease, signing out.